Hey, what's up, guys? Um, as you can see in front of you here, because it's all you can see, <laughs> I have the Game of Thrones Complete Collection. This is the limited edition Blu-ray collector set uh, from HBO, and it's just, it's gigantic. Uh, I can barely, it's, it's taking up 90% of the screen, and it's not even in the full frame. And so I'm going to attempt to unbox this here. I might have to cut away or something like that. I don't know what I'm going to have to do here, but uh, I guess we'll figure it out. I don't think I've unboxed anything this size before, but it's, this is really big. I had not intended to buy this. The only reason I did is because I had um, gotten a couple gift cards that took away the majority of the price of this, and it actually went down about $60 in price, approximately. And I thought, well, screw it. I'm, it's the better set. I actually, I didn't make a video, but I did buy the regular Game of Thrones set, the what do you call it? Just the regular with the with the with the with the, with the cases and stuff that I usually get, I guess, like a Soprano set or even the Wire set from HBO. But all the, a lot of the discs were loose and the packaging seemed kind of flimsy to me. Honestly, I did not care for it, so I returned it and exchanged it for this instead with the difference in price. And uh, this is much nicer looking, but it's just it's like three times the size of that. So <laughs> I guess it's like a lot harder to unbox. But uh, I guess we'll attempt it here. So. That's the front, like I said there. The side just says Game of Thrones Complete Series. And the back, and as you can see too, I didn't mention it, it's got this window box effect that you'll see once I pull it out here. Um, looks very cool. I've seen a video or two of this already unboxing, and I thought it looked very interesting. Uh, very cool. It seems a little bit cumbersome, um, but uh, I guess I'll find out. There's the, well, the information on the back there if you want to read it. You can pause. But it says, Custom Designed... The only thing limited about the set is this box, so I think everything else, the complete series, and then the 15 hours, those are on, that's the regular stuff too, the regular edition, but this wooden shadow box case is what's um, limited about this set, and it's from, all the artwork is from, uh, where's his name, Robert Ball, who did the Beautiful Death series that did from the first season on. If you ever, I don't know if you've seen that imagery before, but it's really cool actually, the imagery that he did for every episode. And I recommend checking it out. I think it's beautifuldeath.com or .net or something, but you can check it out online. But his artwork is on here, too. It's pretty cool. Well, actually, it's mostly his artwork, and I'm rambling. So, yeah, that's cool. Otherwise, it has all 73 episodes of the series on 33 discs, including over 15 hours of bonus content. And I don't know how much of that is never uh, new. It says, exclusive never foreseen reunion special, hosted by Conan Bryan. Oh, that's right. I remember that. Um, so, yeah... It's a cool set, it's just, it's fucking, it's huge. So, I'm going to, I'll just cut that, I suppose. I was going to try to not cut the, the side there, but here we go. Just going to get this thing open here. Hold on. I got it. Nice thick box, too. Okay. Here's the front, and here's the hand of the king pin. What's this? Oh, hold on a second. There's my digital copy right there, and then this is a little, little thing here. I don't know if this is numbered or anything. It says, thank you for the purchase of the limited edition Game of Thrones Complete Collection, blah, blah, blah. You can read that if you want. Just I'm thanking you for buying this set. Usual stuff. I'm describing the, the uh, artwork. That's cool. Like I guess here's the pin. Let me take that out real quick. Oops. This is actually made of metal, which is pretty cool. This is the Hand of the King pin that um, uh, multiple people on the show wore at one point. Tyrion being the one who wore it for a while for um, uh, Daenerys and whatnot. But, uh, you know, Ned Stark wore it in season one, all that. You know, very cool. It's smaller than it would have been on the show, but it's just for, it's to hold the clasp together here. So let me move this out of the way. Move this over here. Put this over here for the moment. Let's see if I can pull this out. Oop, no. Okay. It's a little smaller, maybe you can see it better. 
ever so slightly. Yeah, it's like a leather clasp that goes over the top here. I saw the person I watched before struggling with this, and I don't know if this is a common thing to put this through here. But uh, you put this through there, and then this goes to the top and all the way through like this. I guess that kind of works, but I'll, I'll mess with it later off screen. And this is that, well, it, it feels sort of like leather. I think it's full leather. It's not real, but uh, it's still very cool. Okay. Now here's the front. There's a panel here that I believe you can take out, but I'm going to leave it. It's a little loose, but it's not, you know, it's protective. And this is all, like, I don't know, I think this is real wood. It's probably really thick cardboard or something, but it does feel like wood. And this is uh, debossed with a golden, like, font on it. It's kind of cool. It is a cool design, definitely. And it's got these marks all over it. It's got the Game of Thrones on the side here, too. And on the back there it says, when you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. And the HBO is also debossed here. It's very neat. It's, it's a cool design. It's just it's very big. Okay, so let's take some of these out. And each season here has the little uh, a number dictating which uh, season it is. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, and then what's this? Bonus. Okay, and then yeah. Okay, let's try to take the first one out here. They slide out pretty easily. That's nice. Those are the first discs for season one. And like I said, that other regular set, I didn't like how the discs were in there like that. This is actually a lot easier to get to, so this is kind of nice. Even though I don't always like this kind of um, presentation with the discs. Um, like, it's not scratching it from what I can tell. And they're Blu-rays, too, so they're a little harder to scratch, so it's not like... I'm not going to be pulling these out unless I'm going to watch them, so... I'm not going to pull all these out, actually. Although I should check to make sure that all the discs are there. Oop, I feel something there. There's a little defect right there. And up here. Look at that, see? That's some bullshit. For the price this stuff costs, you'd think this would be more um, quality, but you know, they just this is built on a factory and it's shoved inside the case, so I guess what do you expect? So this is four discs, season one. Um, I think all of them are four discs except for the last two seasons. Um it's cool. And again, looking at the design, that's Daenerys walking into the, the fire at the first season, at the end. What was in the front here? Um, oh, just some scenes from this, the first season. It's cool. There's a, was it Long Claw? Is that what it's called? Very cool. Um, I'm going to try to put these back inside, actually, once I'm done. is season two, if I can get it, there we go. It's cool, there's um, uh, the stag, I think, is that what that is? For Baratheon and stuff, this is the season of um, uh, Clash of Kings, I believe. In the book, I mean, but taking that uh, reference. And what do we have on the bottom here? I don't know who that is, who is that? Hmm, I don't recognize that. Sorry if I'm going to be quiet. I'm kind of looking at this stuff too, so I guess you can look at it as well. But I think that's mostly just the... Oh, oh that's the... Okay, that's the scene from uh, Season 2. Of the... Uh, the killing of the other king. I don't know if I'm going to spoil people if they haven't seen it, but I assume people who are watching this have seen the show. But who knows. There's a little plan in the back here versus the other version, but that's fine, I guess. Cool. 
season three. This is, of course, depicting um, the end of season three, uh, the, uh, the Red Wedding, or most of it anyway, it looks like. It's pretty nice. Very cool imagery. I like the, the way this is done. The shadow box is a cool idea for this show. I'm trying to think about what this scene represents. Is that supposed to be the hound and that's uh, Arya? That looks like a dog with a scar on its side, on its face. Interesting. So representative of some things from the show. If that's what that is, otherwise I don't know what it is. That was season three. This is season four. Like I said, these are little like leather little patches right here. Easy way to grab a hold of them there. Oops. Hang on a second here. Let's... This is season four. And that is, I think that's Jon Snow and Egret? Is that who that is? If it was, I don't know. More cool imagery. I don't know. I guess I don't know all of it, but I guess. And there's the Viper. So yeah, you'd say that's the, uh, the Viper and the Lion and all that. And... Yeah, interesting. I don't know if this is all brand new artwork for this set, or if this is incorporating his work he's done before. Maybe it says actually on the card there, but you know. Pretty neat. Hmm. Like I said, it's a little cumbersome, but it's 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 a cool design. <laughs> Season five. So that's a cool design, having the chain go up to the dragons there. That's neat. And that's the, the year in uh, when they have the, the rise of the masters, whatever, or kill the masters, or something like that. That season was a little annoying to me, but there, there were parts of that that kind of were whatever. But And there's what's his face, the mountain, who came back. Cool designs. Yeah. I'm noticing like defects and things. This is, you know, like, like that there. It's, I shouldn't expect it to be perfect when I get it like that, but still, it's, you know, assembly line, I guess. Just shoving shit inside a box. That's cool. Like I said, clearly the, the designs are really nice, but some of them are. Oh, there's. Yeah. Hold on. That's season six? Damn. And there's Daenerys coming out of the, whatever that place is called, I forget. And, oh yeah, Battle of the Bastards is that season too. That's right, so you can see that depicted here for the fight. Cool, cool. Season 7. Which... In retrospect, I actually did not mind season seven. I thought they were pretty cool uh, things that happened here. Look at this. This is actually missing part of their fucking. It's bullshit. Or is it pushed down or something? Uh... I bought this from Amazon, but obviously Amazon didn't do that. That's just in packaging itself. Just two. Okay. So I don't like that, but apparently, you know. Anyway, I was saying, uh, season seven was when it started to go really in a weird direction for a lot of people, and for me too, I guess. It, but I, in retrospect, it, well, especially compared to season, season eight, I, I enjoyed season seven. You 
There's just one disc in the back here. Disc three. So I'm just kind of glancing at the disc here to see if it's, you know, looks okay. Okay, and then finally season eight, which is the problem season, obviously. I'm not gonna, you know. Okay, there it goes. It's stuck on something. Um, season eight, which is where things went to hell. Um, there were a couple episodes on this season that I, I enjoyed. Like the first couple episodes were okay, and then the sequences were good. The cinematography was pretty good, but. And I'm not going to go into a whole fucking thing about it, but because I think nothing's been spilled. Not blood has been spilled about that shit. But um, it was disappointing, to say the least. That's what I'll say. That's a cool scene, though, I guess, artwork-wise. This is also free discs? Yeah, it is. Okay. And, um... Who the... F I'm trying to remember who the hell that is. Is that... The Red Woman? I don't think so. I don't fucking know. So then there's like that. I don't know what the hell that is. Do you remember that scene? I don't. I guess it's been a while since I watched this, the episode. Maybe I blocked live it out. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, and there's the Night King in the middle there. The almost pointless Night King. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to get into it again. <laughs> but, uh... The season was a letdown. But I didn't want it to diminish my feelings about the entire show, which the majority of the show I enjoyed. So I'm not going to let that destroy everything I know about it. And then finally, the special features. There's three discs here. Picture of the Throne and people being bitches about it. And disc one is... Actually, I got to take a look at these. It says Game of Thrones Reunion Specials Part 1 and 2 and then some additional bonus features. So that's the... I'm assuming that's the um, round table with Conan. Disc 2, it says additional bonus features, so I doesn't even say what that is, just more features. And then disc 3, oh, and a, a guidebook here. Disc 3, I think, is the, what is it called, the, the Conquests and Rebellion uh, discs, the Animated History of the Seven Kingdoms. I think this was came with a season, or you could buy this separately if you wanted. Or this is the thing that's been, pieces of it have been on each disc, I forget now. This has been available before. I think you can see this online. I think it's a retelling of the stories um, of Game of Thrones before it. That's cool to have it, though. I didn't, I didn't already own it. You play the Game of Thrones? You win the guy. This, I assume, is, yeah, episode guide. Season 1. Episode list and bonus features. Same with every season, it looks like. Season 2, Season 3. Season 4. Five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, here we go. This will tell me what it is. Uh, visual effects, season, scene, scenes, bonus, disc, conquest, rebellion. Creating the frozen land. Cool stuff. Definitely cool. Presentation is nice. I wish it was taken better care of when it was made. Again, like for the price. It's, it's a little, you know, dinged up. But, you know, I guess what can you do? And then I'll mess with this clasp later. But yeah, it's a nice set piece. Like, obviously, it would look nice on a shelf or anywhere. I'll put this back as far as I can get it there. See. It is very cool looking. But um, a little expensive, and for what it is, it's got some defects on it, which I think is just from pushing all the little sleeves into the, the case there. So I'm, I'm not going to you know, get all about that, but and here's the Henry Kingpin again. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said, um, I, don't, I didn't have as much space as I would have liked to make this, but I, this is, like I said, the biggest thing I've ever unboxed here. So um, I guess I did all right, considering. And looking at this here... Actually, I'm going to zoom a little bit closer so you can see. But 
it is a cool effect looking at this, the um, imagery here. It's kind of neat. I don't know. It's a cool idea. I don't know how limited this actually is. Like I said, it was already on sale or whatever. Well, on sale. The regular price is like 300 some dollars and then it was, it was you know, on sale for 250 for a while when it first came out. And now, right now, as I'm making the video, it is about 196 or seven. And like I said, I had about $160 in uh, gift card money. And so I only spent about 30, 30 bucks of my own money on this set. So, so it's, you know, it wasn't as huge a, of a deficit as it would have been. It's only about, actually the other set, the, uh, the regular set, like the not non-collector set, the regular complete series set of Game of Thrones is 160 something. So in my mind, it was only 30 bucks more. So I thought, what the fuck, I'll just try this and see how big it is. And it's fucking big, actually. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with this. I have no room for it. So I guess I might just keep it in that box until I want to watch the disc. So I have the uh, digital copy, I guess. I can watch those, but, you know. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I can stop this here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And um, I don't know if I have anything specific coming I got the Joker Steel book that I'll you'll probably see next week. But other than that, I don't think I've pre-ordered anything else. So maybe this is it for a little while. If that's it, thanks for watching, guys. Either way, you know, it's a new year. New shit to buy. All kinds of stuff, so. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice, happy new year and all that. It's still pretty early. It's the, it's January 3rd right now, so. Still fresh. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you again in the future, I'm sure. So, thanks for watching. And see you later. Bye.